And uh, Amish Tripathi, the man himself, uh, the man uh, whose third installment of that trilogy is very, very looked forward to. Thank you. Nice to have you in the studio, Amish. I understand from uh, your Wikipedia entry, something we were just talking about, that uh, it says you started off with the idea of writing on the philosophy of evil. Right, right. But something changed. What happened? Uh, my family advised me, yaar, uh, pure philosophy book, log so jayenge. You know, try and write an adventure. <laughs> and let the philosophy come along with no, the No, but adventure. I'm not talking about the philosophy. I'm talking about the evil part. Because that's oh. interesting. <laughs> okay. That began as, you know, as, as a conversation between my uh, family and I. Mm. Uh, we were watching TV and we discovered something interesting. Uh, we all know that for Indians, gods are called devas and demons are called asuras. What many of us don't know is that for the ancient Persians, those Zoroastrian Persians, gods are called ahuras and demons are called daivas. Right. Oh. It's the exact opposite of the Indians. Wow. So we started talking that if the ancient Indians and the ancient Persians had met, we'd probably be calling each other evil, right? Because my god right. is your demon, your god is my demon, hell, you must be evil. Right? <laughs> so who'd be right? right. And that's where the core of the book really right. stems from. Right. But Avish, you know, you're also originally from the world of finance. Right. How did you Boring get... insurance. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Does that drive you to so much boredom that you start writing books of this kind? <laughs> you know, there's this, there's this famous uh, American director who said that there are things worse than death. Have you ever spent an evening with an insurance salesman? Oh my god. <laughs> I was an insurance guy. <laughs> so then how does one make that transition? Yeah. Uh, you wait for his blessing, man. Uh, I'd written absolutely nothing uh, in my uh, life before the Immortals of Melua. No fiction at all. Uh, unless you consider insurance company business plans as fiction. <laughs> as fiction. Uh, I'd written absolutely nothing. Not even a short story in school. But this is and interesting. It this just it just flows and I just write it. So, yeah. wow. so I genuinely believe it's, it's his blessing. It's, it's his blessing, blessing, but we understand you were an atheist. I was an atheist till late nine years ago. I grew up in a very religious family. Mm. Uh, my uh, grandfather was a priest uh, in Banaras. Uh, both my parents are very religious, uh, but we are also a very liberal family. So uh, we had the freedom uh, to, to, to believe what we wanted to believe. You I was an atheist till eight, yeah. nine years ago, but today I'm a very devoted shiva. So I'm guessing you're not going to tell us uh, or give us any clues as to what we can expect. What is the definition of evil in, in the final trilogy? Yeah, you're going to have to wait for the third book, man. <laughs> 100, Sorry. 100,000 words and counting. That's what you just said. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be a long book. Yeah. You know, the, the fact that you've actually sold over two lakh copies already in the first two installments, um, right. The fact that... Oh, sorry, you know, actually it's around 5 lakhs. Now. 5 lakhs, pardon me. Okay, we've got sorry, the figures sorry. wrong. My, my, no, the, obviously out. No, no, so 5 lakh yeah, copies. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal yeah. and Modern counting, time. especially yeah. in, a, in a market like India, yeah. you know, and... Um, you know, the fact that you've done that, the fact that we just saw a promo mm. on the books, mm. very unusual, something mm. that was running in cinema halls. Mm. Do you think perhaps to some extent your mm. IM background, your business background helped mm. you to figure out marketing techniques or, or, you know, or your way around the publicity or the marketing aspect of the entire thing? Yeah, no doubt about it. Look, yeah. uh, uh, the IMs don't have a writing course, so right. uh, it doesn't really <laughs> help you in writing the book. Yeah, uh, But once you've written the book, then you have to figure out, okay, how do I market this thing? Yeah. And there, uh, the IM background, uh, it certainly helps. Uh, equally importantly, our, uh, you know, uh, our, our job experience, it helps. Right. Uh, one of the departments that I, uh, that I used to manage in my, in my job was marketing, uh, which uh, gave me access to a lot of very talented people. Right. Uh, I could get advice from the best guys in the business and uh, I because, was lucky with, uh, you know, about Yeah, that, because so. myth my, uh, mythology as such is not a topic mm. that publishers jump at to begin very with. And you had a tough time as well oh, getting yeah, It was rejected the by every initially. single publisher it was sent to. I self-published, finally. Uh, you know, my, my, uh, it was rejected, I think, by more than 20 publishers. Oh Most of them said, "Bhaiya, ye kitab nahi bikne wali hai. Who's interested in religion?" Right. Uh, so, uh, so many of them, you know, advised me. Look, your storytelling skills seem good. So try and write on your I am Calcutta days, or try and write about some corporate scandal. So I said, oh "This is a story that I have, man." You know, so which has been done as well, published. right? It's been done. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, you so, wanted to get into a new space. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that I'm, is also there on look, your look, mind. Look, my life yeah. in IMC was damn boring. I don't think anyone would be interested in reading about well, it. Well, the book sure so, makes up in terms of excitement. And you've also signed a film deal with Tarun. Yes. Her, yes, yes. So yes. that seemed like a natural yeah. extension for you? Uh, I, I, I didn't plan on a movie no. when I was writing it. I didn't even think it would get published, the mm. book. So, I mean, it was a long way off, but... Uh, uh, but yes, I mean, when, once the book, uh, you know, kind of uh, caught on, uh, there were various publishers who did approach me. I am represented by an agency called CAA, Creative Artists Agency. It's a Hollywood-based agency for my film rights. Yeah. And uh, so they worked with, uh, with various producers and the Indian language uh, movie rights, uh, yes, it's been, uh, mm. uh, it's been uh, tied up with Karan Johar, yes. But this entire process of writing, how challenging is it? Because obviously you have to set yourself into a discipline of sorts, right? Mm -hmm. And initially when you started writing, we understand that uh, Amish actually wrote during his commute from right. work uh, right. 
to uh, and you guys home have done your and back. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So this is fascinating. One of the benefits of Mumbai is that the commute is long. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so <laughs> not many people think of it as a plus. <laughs> you use it to your advantage. I used, I used to sit on the back seat of my car. Uh, and I used to uh, ride on my laptop, yeah. So it was a good, you know, two hours every day. Well, you know, talking about the it. commutes and and how the world is changing, we're also seeing a lot of people using their uh, tablets now, or their mm. Kindles or iPads mm. to mm. read, you right. know, as yes. they're traveling. Mm. You know, it must get a sense from you as well on the publishing mm. industry and mm. and how you mm. think it's going to be changing mm. over the next few years with the on onset of e-books and mm. online stores and so forth. How how's that going to make things change for for someone like you, an author? Look, uh, e-books, uh, the revolution uh, is still in its early days in right. India, uh, but uh, abroad, in the US, it's close to 25% of the market. In Europe, it's, I think, close to 10%. Mm. Uh, and India has this uh, has this ability to jump revolutions. Yeah. Uh, so, I, 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 e-books is going to happen. It's a matter of time. Could right. be two years, could be five years, it's going to happen. Uh, what it will do is, in some senses, it could disintermediate uh, publishers. So an author could approach uh, mm. readers directly, like John Locke did uh, mm -hmm. in the US. He told one million copies in, in just five months, right? Uh, on the other hand, uh, what ebooks also allow, especially for fantasy writers like yeah. me, because there's an entire world in your mind, right? right. Yeah. Uh, as a fantasy right. writer, and only maybe 25% of it is in the books. Mm. In an e-book, I can actually, you know, share all the content that I have. So I have an interpretation of the Indus Valley script. Right. You know, the section breaks in the book. Right. Mm -hmm. That's yes. Shiva written in my interpretation of the Indus Valley script. Right. Now, if it's an e-book, I can share my interpretation of the script with you. I wow. can share details of the world with you, which I can't in a in a physical book. So that world. So a fantasy writer would obviously would be, yeah. love an e-book. But a the lot entire more. world of uh, you know writing books, being able to publish them, etc., is going through a change, and you're yeah. part of that Massive change right now. But tell Massive us about change. the money very quickly. Yeah. You know, the salaries that you were drawing and the kind of money that you draw in royalties, how do the two compare? Uh, the royalty <laughs> check is more. Is more? It's good to know God's that. Good. It's good to know that, but you're inviting more competition. You understand <laughs> when you say that. That's the more the merrier, buddy, the more the merrier. More the merrier. It's, it's, uh, it, uh, I, I think, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a good phase in yeah. the publishing industry. Yeah. We need more books. We need more books with Indian content. Well, we hope that happens. Uh, and not just, uh, you know, Indian exotica. Uh, you know, written for Western audiences. Sure. We need Indian content. For, Indian for content. Indians. And yeah. uh, really, talking about more books, we are looking forward to the third uh, installment of that trilogy. It's good to have you with us. Amish. It's a pleasure, pleasure, really. Thanks so much for coming pleasure in. And all the Thank best. You. Five lakhs and counting. That's uh, that's the kind of sales we've seen on uh, the two books so far. Third one uh, slated, hopefully, by the end of the Anywhere. year.